Now this is just something else, quite exquisite. Um, oh dear, there is, there seems to be a tiny fracture running through over there, but it's it's hardly visible. I noticed it first on the still pictures. Uh, furthermore, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, I'll just move it right around like this. Cobalt and calcite crystals, right across. Now, uh, on some sections, these are actually tiny dog tooth. I, I need to look under magnification. They don't, are they cubic? I, I don't think they are cubic. But uh, if I mention dog teeth, I'm talking in terms of a form of the, the uh, uh, calcite, uh, calcite colored pink by cobalt. What is interesting about this guy as well is the, the matrix is a solid calcite. So often we are uh, used to the dolomite being a matrix for the, the, the specimen from the uh, Katanga. This uh, uh, deposit, uh, this would most likely be from a relatively new deposit in my book, which would be the Tenke Fungurumu deposit, where we are used to having the um, uh, uh, stalactites, stalagmites of uh, Krasakala, which have been coated by a very fine layer of druzy quartz. I just want to see inside here, often I do find associated, I do find uh, heterogenite. So there may be some heterogenite, which would be little black to silver metallic botroids. This appears to be cubic. Um, some of these were dog teeth, so please look at my header uh, just to see if, if it's actually the dog tooth formation or maybe cubes and dog tooth together and can be displayed all the way around. So it's quite an exquisite piece actually, really, really, really beautiful. Um, maybe like this, so let's just go around again. Crusted right around by the cobalt and calcite, an intense rich pink. Um, look at that, and bright lustrous too. Clean pink.